Charles Ayling brought him to see his colleague, historian Clyde Billington, who has extensively researched this newly discovered find. Besides the Merneptahstila, there's another reference to Israel. It's called the Berlin Pedestal. It's in the State Museum in Berlin, Germany. And this is something that's just now being studied and discussed by scholars. On the base of this Egyptian statue, they showed Mahoney name rings, each representing an enemy defeated by Pharaoh in the region of Canaan. So would these have been captured people? Realize that Pharaohs all the time exaggerate to say the very least. So is he bragging? He's bragging. Okay. He's bragging. He's saying, I've conquered these people, I control these people. This is the one that's caused all of the excitement because you have, again, a bound enemy. So telling you that these people are enemies of the Egyptians. And uh, the name down here that while it's partially broken away has been reconstructed and it's the name Israel. And this dates to around 1360. This makes the late date of the Exodus an impossibility. This is 100 years earlier. This is a very crucial evidence that we see here. This name ring demonstrates that Israel had already left Egypt and was in Canaan as Egypt's enemy a century before the Ramesses Exodus date. So obviously, Ramesses could not have been the Pharaoh of the Exodus.